What kind of policy have you seen over the past few years that has made you smile or that has made you enthusiastic? And what kind of policy do you think would actually move the needle for women, for young people to choose for a family? What kind of policies have made me smile? I think I have seen a lot of policies that have made me really angry. I'm not sure that I have seen a lot of progress. Perhaps it's a blind spot for me and maybe I need to go looking for a little bit more hope. Um, but policies that um, that I think we need would be um, there needs to be more of a fight for economic security for families mm -hmm. um, and to recognize that and, and to fight against this frame that we're given um, which is like the example that I gave about you know you have the parent living in another country and they you know they're forced to kind of work there and, and the family kind of breaks apart to fight for a situation in which that is not necessary in which you can keep families together and it is possible to get a good job in your country to fight and, and to fight against the frame that we're given which is that really it's about women's rights you know really it's about you know your right to work you know that's, you are you have the right to do exactly what the government wants you to do which is to integrate into the market and what do we do to stop the fact that so few women are in the labor market in this country in this country instead of creating a situation in which there are good enough jobs where people can make a choice so fight against the policy frame which frames the our economic subordination our dispossession uh, as families you know the, that it's so hard in terms of money that frame that as a kind of progress mm -hmm. for like gender equality and so on because you know we need more women in the workplace we need to fight against that mm -hmm. and not get pulled into this trap where we start arguing about the patriarchal family and all this mm -hmm. stuff instead of saying hey why don't why can't why am i not free to make that choice for myself mm -hmm. Final question, uh, your reaction to this quote I heard by uh, Tucker Carlson, who said that the biggest enemy of family is the corporations. They consider family as a speed bump on the road to higher productivity. How do you see that? I think that's absolutely right. I think, um, yeah, um, maybe not the biggest. I mean, the governments are also, also see the family as a speed bump you know, toward you know, policy outcomes that they want to happen. Um, they see the family as a source of social problems, um, problems that they themselves cannot solve, and so they deflect that onto families, blame families for that. Um, as, but I do think, yeah, corporations see the family as an, un, a, an unfortunate step, an unfortunate thing that has to exist for human civilization to continue, but it takes the woman, it takes the man now, uh, away from the workplace where he should be. And again, this gets recast in a gender equality kind of framework where it's like oh you know there aren't enough women ceos why is that it's the patriarchy yeah. and i'm gonna take down the patriarchy instead of instead of realizing like um people want to take care of their children and they want to care for their children and it's not really become easy or possible for them to do that and so they just want to rip them away from the family even more instead of creating a situation of course they would never want to create this but what we want is a situation as i said where we truly do have the choice to, to create the families that we want when we want them Ashim Chloe, thank you very much for your time thank you, thank you. thanks